and welcome back to another video. My name is Chloe and today I have a super fun video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you all of the amazing gifts that I got for Christmas from Dan, from family members, and I am so excited to share this video with you guys. Joy may be popping in and out for this video depending on how she's feeling, but let's just jump right into all of the amazing gifts. It was such an amazing Christmas and I'm so sad it's over, but on to the new year. Who's looking forward to 2022? I know I am. So if you caught my Where is Waldo puzzle vlogmas video that went up, you'll know that I absolutely love puzzles and I got some amazing puzzles for Christmas. The first puzzle I got was from Dan. This is the Marauder's Map from Harry Potter puzzle, which I have started it. It's looking like it's going to be a very difficult puzzle. I like difficult puzzles because sometimes they can be too easy but I do like easy puzzles too every once in a while. Here's what the actual puzzle looks like. So you have basically what the Marauder's Map looks like when they would say, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. So I'm excited to tackle this puzzle and see how long it takes me. Like I said, I did start it last night, but I think I only probably found about 25 pieces before I called it a night because it is kind of hard, in my opinion, to start a puzzle at night versus in the daytime. So I have to try and do some more today. And of course, I also got some Disney Princess puzzles. So here is the first one, a Cinderella puzzle that I do not have. Cinderella tends to be like my favorite type of puzzle to do. I have a lot of them, but this one looks super fun. Lots of fun characters to try and make the puzzle a little bit easier to put together. And then the other puzzle, which this one I feel like will probably be the easiest, this is the Disney Princess collage one. So it has all of the Disney princesses on there and they're all in like a mosaic form. Of course, Cinderella's on there, Rapunzel, Sleeping Beauty, all the faves. So super excited to do those. And then one last puzzle, Baby Yoda. And this one is, I believe 3D. Yeah, a 3D puzzle, which I have never done a 3D puzzle before. So that's definitely another element of difficulty. Like this one's only 500 pieces, but it has that 3D element. So I'm excited to do a 3D puzzle for the very first time. So another fun puzzle for my parents. And speaking of Cinderella and princesses, I also received one of the Hallmark Disney princess ornaments. And of course, it's Cinderella with her glass slipper on there. Joy, what do you think? What do you think? And from Dan, I received the Wanda Funko Pop, the Halloween version. I was Wanda for one of my Halloween costumes this year, and I absolutely loved WandaVision, the show, so I was excited to get this Funko Pop. You'll notice a theme through a lot of my presents, a lot of Disney. Clearly, people know me well. And of course, my cousin gifted me this super cute Monster Zinc beauty blender set. So you have Boo, Mike, and Sully, and then they have beauty blenders according to their like colors. And I think it's so cute. I don't even know if I want to ever use it. I feel like I just want to like display it in its little case with the characters on the front, but plastic sponge, hourglass sponge, angled sponge, I think. So pretty cool. And I did not know that Ulta did like a Monsters Inc. set. So I think it's so cute. Thank you again, Christy. And she also has a beer Instagram, which I will link down below. It is at beerbrat. So if you're into beer and all that sorts of fun stuff, go check her out. And another makeup gift that I got, this was from my sister and she got me the Morphe Disney palette. So this is the Mickey and Friends. And I saw this, but I didn't get it for myself, which I'm glad I didn't. Ooh. So it came in like this extra cardboard. Oh, the outside of the case is the same as the box. So cute! Oh my gosh, I love that so much. The back is just plain. This is the Truth Be Told palette. Ooh, oh my gosh! So some of the colors, I don't want the pans to fall out, but some of the colors have like imprints in them. So you have like a Mickey here. I might have to do a pan with my phone because a lot of them are coming out, but like the yellow has a Mickey. The secret weapon has a Mickey. The green one has Donald. The purple obviously has Daisy. Red has Mickey shorts. And like this magenta pink has Minnie's lashes. So that is so cute. A lot of bright colors in here, but also a lot of usable neutrals like the golds and the pales up here. And this brown's really usable. This color down here. So 
a lot of usable colors, but also a lot of fun colors to play around with. I love it so much. Thank you again, Calista. Calista also got me one of the Vera Bradley, I forget what this bag was called. The Vera Bradley Grand Traveler bag. I'm not sure if this is like the one that people always talk about on TikTok and everything else that's like a never ending bag. All I know is everybody always swears by Vera Bradley bags. I've never had one. And there was one time I was out with all my girlfriends, I think it was like a bachelorette or something, and everybody came in to stay the night with a Vera Bradley bag. Not that I go on that many girls trips that I need to be fitting in, but I just felt like I needed it. Especially like with how many times we like pop down to Disney for just like an over the weekend kind of thing. I thought this would be really useful for packing and bringing home souvenirs. And it seems like a really big bag. And I believe this was the size they said was good for a carry-on size. So I love it so much. Usually I get a ton of makeup for Christmas, but this year a lot of things didn't really speak to me. I did get one other palette from ColourPop, and this is the Wild Nothing palette, and I have used it once already, and I love the colors in it. A very light and pastel, and just perfect for spring, and definitely the colors that I usually gravitate towards, so love that. And ColourPop quality is always so amazing with ColourPop, like, definitely try ColourPop if you haven't yet. Another fun gift that I got was a Bratz doll, and if you did not collect Bratz back in the day, this is actually the 20th anniversary for the Bratz dolls, which I can't believe it's been 20 years, but I guess that makes sense because I think it was my sister was little that they kind of came out. But this is Chloe, and this was like one of the first things I ever saw with Chloe spelled how I spell it. There's no H in my name, so it's C-L-O-E. And so that is how this Bratz doll is spelled. And I think she's so cute. I will probably keep her right in the box. And I love that they didn't really like update the outfits from how they were 20 years ago because I'm pretty sure I had this exact one when they came out. I love her so much. Another one of my favorite gifts that I got was from, was from my brother Mike and his girlfriend Laura. And they got us four candles from the Magic Candle Company, which I have never personally ordered from them. I've always wanted to, but I've always just gone with like Bath and Body Works just because they're easier to get. And they got us the French Riviera candle, Banshee Flight candle, the Castaway Cruise candle, and last but not least, the Christmas Down Main Street candle. And we went on our family trip with Mike and Laura, my whole family, to Disney World and on Disney Cruise this summer. So the Riviera candle and the Castaway Cruise candle bring back so many fun memories from our trip. So I love those candles, but they are all amazing. The Christmas Down Main Street, the Christmas Down Main Street candle says features warm, freshly baked notes of mouth-watering Christmas cookies, which that's 100% what it smells like. It smells like Christmas Down Main Street, but also the Boardwalk Lobby when Dan and I stayed there for New Year's Eve last year. Had a very similar smell, so I love that one as well. The Castaway Cruise one says it features a blend of soft floral notes with salty highlights. You also find crisp ozonic notes of sea salt and a calming touch of jasmine and sweet cream, which it smells just like you're on the beach. The ocean breeze is blowing by. You got your suntan lotion on. You got a pina colada in your hand. Love this candle. Banshee Flight, this one. Banshee Flight features a top note of apple, melon, orange, and bergamot. The heart blends lavender and bois de rose, leading to a base of woody violet and musk. Which, I don't know that it smells exactly like Flight of Passage, but it does smell really good. I would say Frozen Lake from Bath & Body Works is more of a dead on for Flight of Passage, but this is a very good scent. And the last one, French Riviera, this one features soft notes of marine jasmine and white amber with cashmere musk and weathered driftwood, which this feels like I've just walked into the Riviera. It smells so good. So if you have not tried the Magic Candle Company, I will link them down below. Thank you again to Mike and Laura for these amazing candles. I'm sure we're going to be hooked and probably spending way too much on candles from Magic Candle Company now. <laughs> one of my other favorite gifts that I got from Dan was this amazing, I don't even know, I think it's called a blanket hoodie, which I am currently working from home. I have been since the pandemic pretty much started. I don't see us going back to the office anytime soon. So 
anything loungewear, cozy, I just love. And so he picked up this blanket hoodie and it is so comfy, so cozy, and I love it so much. I will get the link for this from Dan and I will put it down below because you need a blanket hoodie. And I think he said, because originally I saw a blanket hoodie on Colleen Ballinger's vlogs. I've been watching her vlogs probably the last like eight months and she's probably one of my favorite vloggers right now. She's very family oriented like I am and she loves Christmas like I do. So I just enjoy watching her content. And she had gotten one of these for her birthday but I think she got like a more expensive version. So I think Dan found a cheaper version. So I will link the one he got down below because he said a lot of the ones that he found were pretty expensive. So don't just Google blanket hoodie. Joy also loves that hoodie too. I just put it on the floor and she's curled up on it. <laughs> Coming down to the last few gifts that I wanted to show you guys, I got way more presents than I'm even showing you, but I just wanted to show you like my favorite standout Christmas presents that I got this year. So if I missed a present here or there, that is why. But the next presents that I got were two Kate Spade purses from my parents for Christmas. And I love these so much. So this is the heart purse. I had wanted this around Valentine's Day. I think that's when it came out. Our outlet never got it, but they had it when we went Black Friday shopping and I just had to pick it out for Christmas. And then this purse is just everything I love about purses. It's pink, it's fuzzy, it's like legally blonde. I love it so much and it's just so cute. So two Kate Spade purses. I also received a Cricut for Christmas this year, which it's very heavy, so I'm not gonna hold it up. I'll just insert a picture here. But I received the Cricut Maker from Santa for Christmas, and I'm super excited to get into using it. If you use a Cricut, let me know down below any tips, tricks, people I should go follow, like on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, that have like tutorials and how to use it because I feel pretty much lost in space with the Cricut, but I'm super excited to get into using it. I think it's gonna be pretty fun for like making ears and possibly making some shirts. Dan really wants me to like try and come up with a logo or something, or we'll maybe buy a logo for Chloe and Dan and then put it on a shirt because I'm also ordering, I ordered the heat press on my own this past week after Christmas with some Amazon gift cards. So, I'm excited to just try out all sorts of new fun projects and I think it's gonna be so much fun to have. I've always wanted a Cricut and so I'm excited to finally have one. So that was probably like my biggest gift that I got this year. Another fun present is this Lego advent calendar, which obviously it's an advent calendar. You usually do this leading up to Christmas, but I don't know, it looks really cute and super fun. Here is what the back looks like. I feel like I'm always trying to recoup the fact that there was no Lego friends when I was a kid because I just always played with my brother's Legos or normal Legos. They didn't have girly Legos. So I might put this together in a video maybe. If you guys want to see how this comes out in a video, I will put one together and we can assemble it together. And the last gift I wanted to show you was from Calista and her boyfriend George. They bought it for me together. So they pre-ordered it so it wasn't coming, it didn't come in time for Christmas with most lounge flies, that's the issue right now. Um, so it is the new Sleeping Beauty lounge fly and it is beautiful. I cannot wait to get it and use it on my next trip. I love it so much. I didn't even know this lounge fly existed. I mean, I think it's just being released. So I wasn't really paying attention to what was coming out and I think it's so beautiful. I am so appreciative of it. I wanted to do, or I'm going to do a Sleeping Beauty Aurora Disney bound on one of my next Disney trips. So this will be perfect for that. And I just love it so much. And that is everything I have for what I got for Christmas this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite Christmas gift that you received was, or even the favorite gift that you gave to somebody was. Personally, I appreciate all the gifts, but honestly, I would rather give presents to everybody rather than get them. But I do appreciate them and I put them to good use. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.